Hello everyone, this is Emily Lestrange here. I figured it's been a while since I made a video and like what can I do? So as usual I went to some of my favorite YouTubers and found this tag courtesy of It's Black Friday. One of our older videos but still it's a good one. It's the TMI tag and I thought it was really cool so I decided to give it a go. Uh, question number one. What are you wearing? Fishnet, short sleeve shirt with kind of a corseted top, and then a camisole underneath, and waist cincher, and skull pajama pants, and skeleton arm arm warmers, and a couple jewels. Ever been in love? Yes, I'm pretty sure most people have. I just recently had my first heartbreak, I guess. Uh, ever had a terrible breakup? Almost every single one of them was a terrible breakup. Uh, how tall are you? Somewhere between 5'6 and 5'7. Now that's without my platforms. Um, how much do you weigh? That is an excellent question that I don't even remember how much I weigh. It's like one something. I will allow you, YouTube land, to figure out how much I weigh. Good luck. Uh, any tattoos? We get regrettably new. <laughs> I plan on getting tattoos as soon as I move out of my parents' house, and I want little bats. Because they're my favorite animals. <laughs> any piercings? Yes. I got a hoop in my nose, and I've got two earrings in each ear. That's about it for right now. OTP. It, it's something about um, my favorite pairing or something. My favorite pair, of course, is Tim Burton and Helena Bottom Carter. They're the cutest little couple. I'm pretty sure I... I hope I got the right definition from that. Um, favorite show? Once Upon a Time. I am a die-hard fairy tale fan. Love fairy tales. Love everything to do with them. And um, it's my favorite. I got the first, the recent five seasons, so like the first through the fifth, on DVD. The full series. So far, to date, on DVD. Favorite bands? My number one favorite is The 69 Eyes. I also like Sisters of Mercy, which is what is playing in the background, the beautiful Sisters of Mercy. I just recently got into them and London After Midnight. Both are really good bands. Um, I also like Rob Zombie and a couple other like medley bands like Rammstein, Blue Tango. I'm a girl of many tastes. Um, I do like metal. You can catch me on Metalhead React to K-pop. Uh, but I digress. <laughs> Something you miss. My, I guess, oldest best friend, Matt, who moved down to Florida. But I shall be seeing him in October when I go down and... Hopefully I have some fun vlogs for you guys. <laughs> Favorite song? I don't have one. I guess would be both versions of Cry Little Sister that I know of by G. Tom Mack, who was the sweetest guy ever, and by Blue Tango, which is, they're both extremely amazing. If you don't know what Cry Little Sister is, Watch the Lost Boys. It is the theme song. Woo! <laughs> um, how old are you? I'm 24. I'm still young. So, zodiac sign. I am the Archer. I'm Sagittarius, which is funny because I got into archery not too long ago, and I found I'm actually pretty good at it. Um, qualities you look for in a partner. Imaginative, obviously, because he has, he has to deal with me. Um, I like having intelligent conversation with somebody, so I guess smart. 
um, someone who is willing to deal with me as a crazy person and my crazy friends would be nice. And there goes my crow. Uh, favorite quote. It's a tie between it can't rain all the time and Shelly, Shelly, let me rewind. I have to watch the crow again. Little things used to mean so much to Shelly. I thought they were kind of trivial. Nothing is trivial. Both were quotes from the crow. My all-time favorite movie. Again, check it out. It's amazing. Um, favorite actor? Brandon Lee. Hands down. Love Brandon Lee. Favorite color? Black. I don't care if it's not a color. I don't care if it's a space void of color. It's my favorite color. End of discussion. Loud music or soft? Loud. Unless I'm recording a video, then it has to be soft. But I do like loud music. Where do you go when you're sad? My bed. For you, those of you that don't know, I have a loft bed, so my bed is on top. Or, I go to McDonald's. Mmm, McDonald's. Uh, how long does it take you to shower? About 30 minutes, I think. Because I just stand there and I'm like, oh, it feels so good. I hope that isn't weird. I hope it's not weird. Comment if you do that too. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Now that, it depends. It can take me as little as 15 minutes, and that's for a work day, or it could take me about an hour and a hour and a half if it's one of my days off and I actually do my intricate eye makeup and all, and obviously I don't have that today. Ever been in a physical fight? No. <sighs> I will not fight physically. Unless it's play wrestling, that's a different story. But I've never actually gone up to someone and gotten punched or been or have punched somebody. No. I'm peace. Peace all the way. Peace. That's I love you. I'm sorry. Peace. There we go. <laughs> Turn on. Um, cuddles and snuggles. And seeing a guy really take responsibility, like seeing him like clean something or make dinner, it, that's a turn on. Because it shows that he's not afraid to show his more sensitive side. I like sensitive guys. I guess that should have been said in the quality section too. Turn off. Loud guys who think only about themselves. Like, if there's a dead kitten in the middle of the road, and I saw a guy pull over and, like, take the kitten and, like, bury it or something, that's... Mm. But if I saw a guy, like, oh, well, it's a dead kitten, I'm just gonna run it over. Like, no. Um, I don't like sitting in a, um, on a date and... Having a guy be like, oh, well, here's more about me, here's more about me. If I ask you about things about you and you start telling me these things, that's one thing. But if you're just like, oh, yeah, um, I went, won the Nobel Prize and I met Donald Trump and the da 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 da. It's kind of a turn off, dude. I kind of don't want to date you any further if you're going to do that. But if you're going to, like, inquire about me every so often or ask are you, are you sure you're okay with me talking about myself like this oh, that's be a guy being considerate and that's what I like the reason I joined YouTube that is very embarrassing actually I originally joined YouTube to just collect like mu anime music videos from other people that other people made and just put them in playlists and then as I grew up and grew more into myself, I'm like, you know what, I think I'm going to actually, you know, like, do research um, on different conventions, um, watch some YouTubers, watch other people like me, 
like toxic tears or it's black friday um caligo basis i i do apologize if i'm pronouncing that incorrectly but um i do now watch them and that they actually inspired me to find myself in making vlogs and youtube videos so thank you guys fears i will only mention one one and it's something like most people eventually learn about me i am arachnophobic up the wazoo don't like spiders at all i am terrified of spiders and eat most of the time even things that look like spiders I'm surprised I have some spiders in my room fake stuff spiders <laughs> last thing that made you cry when me and my one of my old best friends got into a really big fight and to be, it's still going on um, I'm not gonna get too into it because it is still kind of new and still kind of personal. So I'll just leave it at that. Last time you said you love someone. Today. I always say I love people. Every single day. Because I do. I love people. I love most people. I should say. Uh, meaning behind your YouTube name. Alright, there are many meanings behind this name, but I will give you the simplified version. I've always been in love with Emily the Strange, but I felt like her name was copyrighted, so I couldn't go by Emily the Strange, because obviously I'm not her. And then somebody called me Miss Lestrange, and I'm like, like, Bellatrix Lestrange? And he's like, yeah, I'm like, that's my favorite Harry Potter character. So since that day, and I give all credit to Steven Sierra for giving me the name, I have been known as Emily the Strange. And it's staying. It's my model name. It's everything. Last book you read. It's actually a nice little informational book about horror. That's really cool. The last uh, book you are currently reading. Not really reading anything. But I do have a lot of books that I can read. Um, like I have a couple like big horror collector books. Um, I have like haunted books so many books. <laughs> Last show you watched, Futurama. It's funny, so I'm continuing to watch it. Last person you talked to, Matt, my best friend that lives down in Florida. Yeah, we talked on the phone. <laughs> Relationship between you and the last person you texted. Um, she's my future roommate because I hope to move down to Florida one day and she said she would be my roommate. She's also dating my friend Matt. So, I guess like, like a close internet relationship of friendship kind of thing. <laughs> Favorite food. Non-fattening food, cheese raviolis. Fattening food, fried Oreos. I'm a very healthy person. <laughs> uh, place you want to visit? Germany. Yeah. I want to go to Wave Gothic Treffen. So badly. I've been wanting to go for years. But I feel like now I actually would be ready to like walk around and like, meet all these people. Because I do, I do have social anxiety to a point. And that's, I, I've been to enough conventions where I think I would be able to deal with it. Yeah. Last place you were, Delaware. The Delaware Bar 13 for a Wednesday 13 show. I do not remember half of it. I remember the first half, not the second half. Um, yeah, I don't remember. I was trashed. <laughs> um, do you have a crush? No, not really. I was talking to someone on Gothamino, but he kind of disappeared. I think it's something about me. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really crushing on anyone right now. Last time you kissed someone. I don't want to talk about that. Can we please not talk about that? Alright, this is because this is my vlog. I'm not going to talk about that. 
Last time you were insulted. I don't really like. I don't really th like know of any times I was insulted. Um. Any time I was insulted, like I just like brush it off and don't remember it. Uh, I I'll probably be hung up over it for like a couple minutes and then I'll let it go. Because what's the point in life if you're gonna hang up over hang over stuff like that? Um, favorite flavor of sweet. I like fruit sweet, if that's a flavor, like oranges and lemons and watermelon and all. Peaches. <laughs> I like that kind of sweet, I guess. I guess it's a fruity kind of sweet. What instruments do you play? I know keyboard. I know the xylophone. I know the chimes, which are the big tubings and you like hit them with a mallet I know how to play them um, and I'm learning violin very slowly and it's very difficult but I hope to master it one day um, I'm missing a string so my first goal is to get a new string <laughs> favorite piece of jewelry this one's a difficult one it is between three pieces of jewelry it's between this little coffin necklace that open and closes. It's one of my newer pieces. I've been looking for a coffin necklace for a long time. As my jewelry gets tangled up. This fat necklace, which is extremely adorable. All of these are metal, by the way. Obviously, it's going to be bad because that's my favorite. And this one, which was actually given to me by an ex, it is the Zydrate gun from Reba the Genetic Opera. Isn't that cool? I think that's really cool. But I don't know. I wouldn't know which one to pick. I like all three, so. Last sport you played? Billiards. I'm a huge billiard person. I love billiards. Billiards is amazing. And it's like the only sport I really play. If you can consider it a sport. Some people don't. Um, if not, I think bowling. But it was either billiards or bowling. <laughs> either way, it's a beat. Um, last sa song you sang. I really don't know. I think the last song I sang was I Walked With a Zombie by Wednesday 13. Yeah, I think that was it. Um, favorite chat up line? I don't know what that means. So, I guess I don't have one. <laughs> have you used it? Um, I want to assume no, since I don't even know what a chat up line is. <laughs> Last time you hung out with anyone, it was at the Wednesday 13th show. And the next day, I woke up at their house. So, not Wednesdays, at the people's I was hanging out with. Um, who should answer these? Anyone that wants to. I wasn't tagged in one, so if you want to do this thing, feel free to. It was really fun. I really like doing these tags, so I might do another one. Maybe next week, though. Um, but yeah, if this was Emily Lestrange here with the TMI tag, I hope you all enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my lovely channel. Also check out Metalheads React to K-Pop. Um, Kevin Tran, he's amazing. I do show up in a couple of those videos. And also subscribe to the other YouTubers that I did promote in here, like It's Black Friday, um, Toxic Tears, Caligo, Bastet. Um, definitely... Um, subscribe to them take a look at their videos they're really good and i will see you in the next video